Welcome to the Elements of Spirit reading for the element of Earth for the week of April 3rd, 2017. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, check out the Ether reading. That will give you a sense of the space in which this reading applies. I'll probably refer back to it, but for now we check in with the Ether reading, which applies to Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Sun signs. So it's a question. What are you breathing life into now? Hmm. <laughs> and the message is just keep breathing. Uh, uh, don't, don't obsess over practicalities. Um, enjoy the potent power of intention. So it's interesting, it's breath is, is associated with the air element. Um, so it's a very airy reading for you earth beings today. And it's saying, don't get too weighed down by how am I going to do this? Because this has that feeling of like frittering away all of your energy by looking at details over here, 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 details over here. as opposed to, oh, I am breathing life into my creation. Sorry, affirmation. Interesting. There we go. Okay, so um, uh, don't obsess over practicalities. Enjoy the potent power of intention. Um, uh, it says, uh, don't forget your mission. Don't do too many things. And the affirmation, I am breathing life into my most precious creation. How funny. Um, uh, it's in response to the first message. What are you breathing life into now? The answer, I am breathing life into my most precious creation. And what's interesting is that it begs the question, what is your most precious creation? So the idea here is that like, yeah, you know, we're bioenergetic computing complexes. We can create anything we want to. Um, but, you know, we can create 500 things at a time. And we're going to be able to allot this much energy to those 500 things. If we create one thing at a time, we can invest 500% of our energy into that one thing. Doesn't happen like that. There's so many cycles of manifestation and creation that are happening all of the time. Every thought we have initiates a cycle of creation and manifestation. Um, some happen faster than others. Some are abandoned, but, but it, 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 it. They have cycles, but the idea here is what are you breathing life into now? What are you breathing life into now? Is it 700 things? This says don't obsess over the practicalities, you know, uh, uh, oh, over the practicalities of what your most precious creations are. Just keep breathing life into them. Remind yourself that, that they are most precious to you. And, and the idea is I am breathing life into my most precious creation. Um, uh, yeah, it's funny. They're not letting me give you a plural there. It's not creations. It's like one at a time. And if you don't know what you're creating, then literally just breathe life into yourself. Uh, be your most precious creation and let the, let your consciousness breathe life into yourself. And then yourself will naturally manifest those creations, which are most aligned with it. I'm breathing life into my most precious creation. So it feels like there's some good meditation opportunity there. Like you can sit with that affirmation for five minutes, gently hold it in your mind, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever, you know, however long you can go. A 
and breathing life into my most precious creation. Mm. I mean, that feels good. At least I don't feel like a failure for that minute. You know, so, so that's why I say if you can think of something that's really important to you, let's say I work with a lot of creatives, right? Let's say you're working on a script or you're working on a project or you're working on something at work. The idea is, is you would, you would sit and you would imagine that uh, project or that endeavor. Uh, let's make it simple. What, how do we do it, guys? Okay, um, you pick a shape. You pick a color of that shape, right? So I'm thinking of a yellow circle like a sun, and I can sit there going, I am breathing life into my most precious creation. Oh, and you assign that shape and that color to the project or the script or the whatever that you're creating, or even a baby, right? If, you're, if you want to make a baby. Um, I'm breathing life into that most precious creation. And then as you breathe, you imagine that shape expanding and contracting with the breath. And that will infuse yourself and the project that you're creating with breath, with life. Now, if you don't have a project or you don't know what you want to focus on, you can just focus on yourself. And it's interesting. I wasn't going to go there, but I'll go there. If there is a higher aspect of yourself, which is connected more to the divine, more to the creator, more to God, more to creation itself, more to energy, more to the quantum field, the idea would be that your mantra then becomes, I am breathing life into my most precious creation. So the part of you that is the creator, that created this beautiful body for your soul to inhabit it, is affirming, I am breathing life into my most precious creation. Body, feelings, mind, spirit of Michael, right? Or of you. And yet you're connecting with that higher consciousness that says, I am breathing life into my most precious creation, trusting that infusing that self with that life will reveal that which is most precious to that creation. So the creation of the creation of the creator. <laughs> Jazz hands. <sighs> I am breathing life into my most precious creations. I think that's it, you guys. <laughs> um, uh, I guess email me if you have any questions, comments, whatever. Um, I love you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.